All right, Raider Nation. So you guys see who we got here for the second, uh, the second video of today's doubleheader. The, the pro probably the the, the uh, best kept secret at the combine, the NFL combine darling himself, Lenor Lenore Ryan safety, Kyle Duggar. That's right, we're doing Kyle Duggar. Um, before the draft, before the combine, I first of all, one, I had never even heard of this guy, and two, I had never heard of the school Lenore Ryan before the before this uh, this uh, the combine. I didn't know of either of those. But, um, man, this guy has so much interest around the league. He honestly is going to be so good, and I cannot wait to see what it, where his NFL career takes him. You know, uh, I know Dallas is prob has the, probably the most interest of him, of him of all the NFL teams, but he would be such a good fit with the Raiders, especially considering the fact that we have, when you have a need of safety. Um, I actually... I actually um, did a mock draft the other day, and I ended up taking him at number 58. I did a mock trade with the Philadelphia Eagles to get the second round pick, number 58. So I ended up taking him in the second round. Because this, this kid is going to be something special. I mean, I cannot wait to see where his NFL career takes him. I really want the Raiders to draft him because he's going to be that good. Like, honestly. I'm telling you guys, Kyle Duggar is going to be really good. So, uh, I mean, like I said, this combine tape is probably what saved him, and it's probably what's giving him no, uh, no, no variety. But, I mean, this combine tape speaks for itself. Nope. No, but, like, Kyle Duggar is... All right, so it says, Lenore Ryan University has not had a player drafted since 2000. But teams have been visiting the campus with interest due to Duggar's talents. The former all-country pick from... Fe oh, yeah. Fetty, Fetty, Georgia in football and basketball generated a second-team All-American All-Athletic Honors at the defensive back. Um, 31 tackles, one for loss, two interceptions, four pass breakups, and a punt return, uh, and punt return specialist. 12 returns, 175 tackles, and 16.4 16 average, two touchdowns despite starting only seven games due to a hand injury as a senior. He was first team all South Athletic Conference selection as a defensive back in 2018, recording 76 tackles, three interceptions, 10 pass breakups, three fumble recoveries, and two forced fumbles. Duggar was also a first team pick as a return specialist, averaging 17.2. Yards per punt return, 31 returns, 534 yards, and scoring twice, nine, with uh, nine kick returns. Duggar impressed Bears coaches during his redshirt season, and they started him 10 times the following year, 43 tackles, four interceptions, and two pass breakups. Yeah. I kind of compare him to Justin Reed of the Texans. I, I see some comparisons there. Um, He's more of a zone safety. I. Him and Jonathan Abram would cause some havoc. I know that I, I know that if anybody needs some development, it's probably gonna be Kyle Duggar. Kyle Duggar really needs some development, but you know, he can sit behind Jeff Heath for a year or something like that, Demarius Randall, and uh, then start. Cause I mean this kid, he's gonna be a starter one day. He's good. I mean, and that's just not even from the combine standpoint, you know. The combine was great, but his play is better. I mean, so he's good. And I know, like I said, the Cowboys I know for a fact that are really heavily interested in him. So, it says, it's rare to find a safety with elite uh, size, speed, and explosiveness at production at a Power 5 school, and almost impossible to find in one of the Division 2 school. Duggar crammed the star sheet full and used his elite traits to dominate the opposition. Uh, at times, he seemed bored with his level of competition, but, he engaged, but his engagement can... His engagement can be instant and and urgent when it needs to be. He's, he plays with controlled violence and car carries an alpha demeanor on the field. His soft hand, he has soft hand and soft hand and is rangy, but needs to train his eyes and improve his fundamentals before covering before his coverage ready. Duggar is a ver versatile, scheme friendly safety who helps immediately on special teams and could develop into a talented NFL starter. Yeah. Uh, 
that means he's a competitor. I mean, if he's going to get tired of his own competition, I mean, because Division Two is just terrible. He should have gone to a Division One university. He would have been just as great. Probably even better. But I, I understand the whole competition standpoint. I mean, Division Two just isn't there. So, um, let's see what it says. Some of his strengths. He looks like a man against... He looks like a man amongst boys on tape. All athletic gifts under the tree have his name on them. Wow. Okay. Rare combination of size, speed, and explosiveness. Uh, production galore in high-impact categories. Plays with instant twitch to pursue tackles to break on throws. Swoops down to snatch telegraph passes. Bodies up to contest the downfield throws. Um, see here. Can be ver- can can be a vengeful striker or a controlled wrap up tackler. Clear understanding of leverage and pursuit range for high safety and toughness to play in the box. Speed and angles to run the alley and derail his outside coverage runs. Outside protect outside runs. Posted six career punt return t- t- touchdowns. Now with the Raiders in particular, we do have some uh, issues at kick returner, so that could help a lot. All right, so now some of his weaknesses. He doesn't have, wow, he only has like, look at all, he doesn't even have very many weaknesses at all. That's good. May prove production, may must prove production carries over against better competition. Yeah, that's a big one. I mean, because if you're going to be good against Division 2, you don't know what he was going to be against Division 1. You don't know what he was going to, what he's going to be in the NFL. You know, so people, I mean, teams take a flyer on him, but it's probably going to be worth it only because of what he can bring. And if he doesn't bring that, well, stick to Division 2. Look bored at times with ID motor for backside. I mean, when you're playing Division 2, I don't don't blame him. Inconsistent rush at uh, field downhill. Bound a little tightly to his hips, more reactive than instinctive, needs to improve footwork fundamentals, and eyes get hung up on receivers over uh, diagnosing QB's intentions. Now, my one question to Kyle Duggar is, why didn't you transfer? Why didn't you enter the transfer portal and go to a Division One school? He should have. That probably would have helped this case a ton more. I mean, how do we not know about this guy? You know, why, why, didn't, we find out, why, why didn't we find out about this guy until... Uh, the combine. So I, I honestly think he should have transferred to Division One. I, I, I think he should. I think that would have helped him ton. But anyways, um, let's go ahead and find some tape on the kid, which I'm very excited to watch. I mean, whoo! You know, if there were NFL teams. They would go ahead and go on eBay and like, um, and like bet to see or to get a player's tape or pay a certain price to get a player's tape or just, you know, spend a lot of money on a player's tape. I think Kyle Duggar would be the one. I mean, because this kid is a baller. You know, he's a dog. You know, he has, you know, and like it says here. NFL Draft's best keep kept secret. Yeah, he really is. He's going to be the NFL Draft star. He's going to be the diamond in the rough. He's going to be this year's, like, Shaquem Griffin or Max Crosby. He really is. He, I'm telling you guys, he really is. Depending, No matter where he goes, I think he's going to go second round. Let me tell you what. Somebody's going to take a like a really, him at a really high pick. You know, if I was the Raiders, I would actually, like, you know, last year, you know how, like, we took Jonathan Abram? If Jonathan Abram wasn't in this year's draft, I would have spent pick number 26 on him. I really would have. Because I think he's worth it. Anyways, like, like you know, he is the, the NFL draft's best kept secret. And he's also the NFL draft darling. So let's go ahead and get some, let's go ahead and watch the tape now. But yeah, I just wanted to bring that up, you know. Um. Alright, so we actually have tape now. So... You know, this kind of this kind of reminds me of. And this is a certain, this is a different situation. Uh, I think the guy's name is Adam Treadman out of Dayton College, the tight end that's coming out. Where, uh, you know, uh, 
No, no NFL prospect has ever been drafted from that school, or they haven't had an NFL prospect from that school in 50 years. Yeah, that, 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 that's like this. Now, you guys are probably going to hate me for choosing the highlight reel with this song in it, but let's go. It's six minutes, man. Whew! Lenore Ryan. Wow, he just jumped over that guy. He got murdered. Listen up. Woo! He wears number two. He's he's fast. I you know. Here he is on punt returns. Okay. Good cuts. Spin move. Woo! Wow. That, that play happened again six minutes later. Wow. Look at him go, man. Woo! Oh, nice blitz package there. Look at how he blitzes the running back off the edge. Nice hit. There he is blocking a kick. Back pedal. Boom. He read that one like a book. What a hit. Whew. Boom. He's got a good sense of awareness. One thing, sorry about the words in the song, guys. I, uh, yeah. But anyways, oh, sorry. Another another thing is, you know, for these draft experts, it must have been really hard for them to evaluate this kid only because he comes from D2. I mean, he just destroys D2 coverage, uh, competition, rather. This is one of those kids that put certain schools on the map. Really, really is. So, I mean, not, you know, I feel like he's going to help, he helped out their school a lot. Just get on the map. Because, I mean, I ain't never heard of this school a day in my life. Before, before this kid. So I mean, hey, if you would have asked me last year, do you know uh, Lenore Ryan University? Uh, no. So I mean, he had to put the these guys on the map in some way. I mean, this guy's got a good sense of touch, a good sense of awareness. I mean, it's great. He's good. But again, this is D two, not D one. I wish we could see him against D one competition. I really, I really do. So. If the Raiders draft this guy, I want him at kick returner. Let me tell you. What a hit. Wow. Woo! He just jumped over two guys. Go! <laughs> wow. Look at him go, man. Woo! He destroyed D2. He needed to go to D1. What the heck is he doing in D2? You know, I don't do this very often. But... I'm really interested to see what he was ranked as a star prospect in high school. Because there's no way that if he played this good in high school, that he would have ended up D2. I mean, this guy is too good for D2. Um, but based on what I'm seeing in the NFL, I mean, based on what I'm seeing here, 
I'm ready to see him in the NFL. <laughs> Hopefully he's just as good as he as he is there as he is in the NFL. Cause I mean D2 to NFL that's a high jump. But um, we're gonna watch a few more minutes of his of his tape here because I'm I just love watching it. But uh, we're gonna we're gonna go dive into his high school files. I'm that interested. I really am. Look how grainy this film is. Huh. This is this is this honestly? Hold on. This looks like something you would find on on a huddle huh? of high school kids. Boom. It's like he stands with the linebacker. He's got he's good at that. Nice. I like I like this kid. I do. Dang, I could have watched him on that TV channel. I could have watched him. Look at him go. There it goes. Wow, good read. Good job staying with the receiver. You know, I'm so into, I'm so into this tape. I almost forgot I'm doing this video. But uh, let's go ahead and pause here. This probably this usually would have been the end of the video. But uh, I'm gonna go dig at his highlight as as at his uh, high school rankings here. Cause I mean, I'm I'm really interested. <laughs> I couldn't do it. I I even went to his school's football program website and you know on Max Preps as you guys can see, but I can't find anything. So unfortunately, I I don't know what he ranked, what his star ranking was as a call as a high school athlete going into college. But I mean, if he ended up in D two, I'm gonna guess he was a two star, three star prospect. I don't know. Hey, right here, guys. Shout out to Whit Whit. Uh, Shout out to Whitewater High School. If I got anybody watching from that, the, if I got any student watching that goes to that school, go ahead and comment in the comment section. I think that'd be pretty cool to, to just uh, to uh, see. But uh, it's in uh, where is it even at? Oh, it's in Georgia. I'm retarded. Sorry, guys. Anyways, um. That's gonna wrap it up, and as uh, that's gonna wrap it up, and as always, go Raiders. I really want Kyle Dugger. I'm just gonna tell you guys that straight up.